Hello to Mission Engineering. This video shows how our smart draft device for fire heaters in oil refineries and petrochemical plants was tested and developed. Before starting, let's have a look at a typical installation of a draft pressure differential transmitter in the field. Most often the transmitter housing is installed inside a small cabinet for weather protection. One branch of the transmitter is connected to the combustion chamber, ideally at the entry of the convection section. This is the so-called process connection. The second connection, or also called reference connection, is open to atmosphere. This second connection either ends as open tube inside, as shown here in the photo, or outside the cabinet. Let's assume the cabinet is open, wind that passes by will affect the transmitter signal, as wind changes the pressure conditions around this tubing. This can also happen if the cabinet is closed and the tubing end is located outside of it, as often seen in refineries. In order to simulate the wind effect on our smart draft device, on the next slide you can see the testing setup. A centrifugal fan delivers air with a speed up to 35 meters per second. This is a wind speed close to storm conditions. In order to verify the velocity, we used a pitot tube measuring the pressure drop and back calculation the velocity from, from there. As soon as the fan is started, the pitot tube quickly measures the air velocity. In the next video you will see how wind will affect the transmitter. The second or reference branch of the transmitter, respectively the tubing, is here simulated by a handheld tube of 6 mm. Thought it doesn't really make a difference whether it is 6 or 12 mm tubing. There is an inclined pressure differential manometer measuring the pressure between the dynamic pressure of the tubing and the static pressure in atmosphere. You'll see that the measure that the measure delta P varies a lot with the angle that the tube is capped in respect to the flow direction of the air coming from the fan. If air passes the tube on a 90 degrees angle, there is a suction or negative pressure created up to approximately minus 5 millibar or minus 51 millimeter water column, whereas if that angle is inclined to the airflow, it can get positive. So you see a clear effect that wind respectively and air jet can have on the measurement of a pressure differential device. As seen in the video, depending on the angle of the tubing, the delta P can be pretty much everything from minus 5 millibar or minus 51 millimeter water column to plus 6 millibar or 61 millimeter water column. Considering the fact that a draft in a ferrite heater as per API norm should be kept within the limits of minus 1 to minus 3 mm of water column, it becomes obvious that already small effects of a few millimeter water column on a transmitter can disturb the readings quite significantly, even to such extent that the DCS alarms for draft or the PLC even interlocks for draft. As the effect seen in the video only influences the transmitters but not the actual draft inside the furnace, this is a disturbing effect that at the end of the day can cost a lot of money in case the heater trips and needs to be restarted. Okay, instead having this piece of tubing, we are now connecting our smart draft device to the manometer. When switching on the fan, it becomes instantly obvious that the pressure drop indicated is a lot smaller than the pressure drop measured before. We are now talking about the range of minus 1.8 millibar, where it was up to minus 5 millibar before. Furthermore, it is a lot more steady now. Also, the angle under which the fan approaches the smart draft device is making very little effect on the measured pressure. Probably the most interesting test is to find out what happens if the wind is not strong and steady but changing in velocity, just if strong gusts of wind hit the smart draft device. 
We were trying to simulate this by moving a plate in between the fan and our device. As the video reveals, there is an impact of the pressure differential manometer, but the peaks are way lower than when we used the piece of tubing as before. The attenuation effect is in the range of four to five times lower. So the likelihood of unexpected and undesired alarms and interlocks is much lower. It shows that Smart Draft is a device that lowers wind impact of a pressure differential transmitter significantly. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.